I wonder who's putting those words up there. I don't trust it. Oh, hey guys, it's me, AJ. And I wanted to talk to you guys about a very troubling thing that's been happening on YouTube lately. See, the last uh, 20 or so years, my professional job has been conspiracy theorist. I come up with conspiracies that explain how the world works. For example, I bet you didn't know that Rutabagus had a lot to do with the JFK assassination. I do. But what's been happening lately has been kind of discouraging. See, on YouTube, it seems that you guys are starting to create conspiracy theories over, well, just about everything. Every single minor little thing that happens on YouTube lately has become a conspiracy. If all of a sudden you don't have as many views as you once did, it couldn't possibly be that people's tastes are changing, or maybe your audience is changing, or maybe YouTube's demographics are changing. Nope! It's gotta be a conspiracy theory! If one of your favorite YouTubers was suddenly taken down, it couldn't just be because it, they violated the law. It had to be a conspiracy theory. A nebulous group was behind it. Usually a group that you don't like. See, guys, conspiracy theories work really great when you have lots of desperate elements, and usually the thing that the conspiracy theory is about is something huge, like landing on the moon, or the assassination of somebody, or the secret powers that control everything. Not the bullshit on YouTube. If you guys have to come up with conspiracy theories about what's going on on YouTube, maybe you really need to seriously consider how you're approaching life. I mean, I love conspiracy theories, but I don't come up with one every time something bad happens. I mean, if I put a dollar in a change machine and the change machine eats the dollar, I don't assume that it's a conspiracy theory. Well, I mean, not right away. Well, usually after about two hours, but that's not the point. The point is that things happen on YouTube and sometimes YouTube tells us what they're doing. Sometimes upwards to about a year after they started doing it. Or that, you know, they don't tell us. And they don't have to. Remember, we all signed that thing that said we all agreed to be on YouTube, and very few of us ever read it. And if you did, you'd be terrified. Basically, when you sign the YouTube Terms of Service, you're basically saying, Hey YouTube, do whatever you want! To me! Or my videos! Or my channel! So it gives them a defense. It says, Well, if you didn't want us treating you like that, you shouldn't have signed the Terms of Service. Anyway, just because YouTube does some really sketchy stuff, stuff that makes a lot of people angry, Stuff that makes a lot of people really angry, like all the time, doesn't mean that it's a conspiracy. Especially since they basically told you from the beginning, Hey, don't trust us. <laughs>